Hallo kijkers en welkom bij nog een episode van Eronge Talk. Jelle gunsteling en hoogst betrouwbare aanleiding Niesbron hier bij de kus. Ons keer in ons atelier bij Plaza Meer Mol in Zwak op Mond. Op vandaagse programma gesels ons met Hesti Langeveld en Alzheimer Dementia Namibia se Sofrani Ijs Holshausen oor die opening van Zwak op Mond se eerste dementievriendelijke parkeerplekke bij die plaats Amir Winkelcentrum. Maar eerst op die lijst is ons kalenderdag en vandaag vier ons internationale rekeningkindedag. Geniet die club met ons. En vandaag is er niets. Twee locomotieven hebben die spoor bijster geraakt op Walvisbaai gisteren aan. Die locomotieven hebben hier een versperring gebars en in die middel van Vijfde Straat op de Havendorp tot stand gekomen. Transnam heeft zijn noodplan is onmiddellijk geactiveerd. Geen besierings is aangemeld nie en daar is minimale schade aan die infrastructuur zowel als die locomotief. Ons onderzoek de oorzaak van die voorval wat binnen de volgende paar dagen bekend wordt te wees het Transnami se skakelbeamte Abigail Rabenheimer gesê. En nog nies, moedig die Rongo Streekraad inwoners aan om meer betrokken te raak by hoe die overheid hul sake bestuur door van terugvoerplatforms gebruik te maak om inzetten te lever. Die Streeksraad se skakelbeamte Susan Wibes het gesê dit is hoogtijd dat die terugvoeringsproces teruggebring word aangezien dit belangrijk is dat die raad een pas met zijn kiezers is. Die commentaar zal elke maand ingesamel, gecategoriseerd en geprioritiseerd worden en aan die betrokken departementen voor oorweging en reacties voorgeleid wordt. Die reactie zal dan aan die raadsbestuur voor verdere optreden ter tafel geleid worden en indien moeilijk zal de individuen en gemeenschappen de rugvoering van die raad ontvangen wat in die vorm van gemeenschapsvergaderings gaan wees. Voorstellen kan per hand bij die raadse kantoor afgeleverd word, by die onderskye verteenwoordigende kantoren in die verschillende kiesafdelings of elektronies. En dan ten slotte, die narrenwekker, oftewel die ontwaking van carnaval narre, wat die jaarlijkse Kuska carnaval op Sokopmoen ambtelijk afskop, wordt op 28 mei beplan. Die narrenwekker wij die begin van die carnavalseizoen in en breng de gees van die carnaval na almal, sê Kuska's voorzitter, Karl Heinz Schulte. Soos gebruikelijk, zal die narrenwekker in Swakopmundse hoofstraat, sê nu Jomalan, voor die Swakopmunder apteek gehou word. Die groot verschil van jaar is dat al bij die banen voor piek en pij vir die vieringe gesluit gaan word. Dat betekent bij de oost- en westwaartse verkeer zal voor die dier van de vies op 28 mei gesluit wees. Volgens Schulte is de reden hiervoor dat baie mensen, ook kinders, altijd op de eiland tussen die twee banen staan, terwijl daar nog heel wat verkeer is. Die verzoek wordt die Swakop, word door die Swakopmoense dorpsraad ondersteund en die nodige relings voor de veiligheid van die deelnemers en die gerief van die publiek en verkeer zal getref worden. Kuska begint met die prinsenbol op vrijdag 17 juni. En dit brengt ons dan aan het einde van vandaag Sinis. Bezoek gerust ons webwerf bij www.erongo.com.na of ons Facebook platzij voor meer nieuws uit die streek. Let's 
Amir is a landmark on the coastline of Namibia, a home to quality shops and quality restaurants, a select variety of fashion and food retailers, as well as banks. Not to mention the pier with 36 luxury apartments and entertainment for the whole family. Find us at corner of Tavorite and Albatross Street, Vineta North, Swakamund. Call us on 064-462-242. Visit platamir.com.na or at Platamir on Facebook. Platamir, enhancing your coastal experience. Alzheimer's an activist for people living with dementia and founder of Swakopmund based Alzheimer Dementia Namibia has for a long time been urging the Swakopmund municipality and local businesses to provide more dementia friendly services and facilities in town to allow people living with dementia to enjoy more inclusivity in society. Heading to his call, the Plaza Mir Waterfront Mall last Friday inaugurated two dementia friendly parking bays. Hesti Langefeld of the mall's management said that she hopes this step will help make life easier for people living with dementia and also encourage other businesses and institutions to follow their example. Holzhausen said that Namibia has a long way to go to become dementia friendly but that the journey to that goal starts with the first step, such as the one the Platz Amir Waterfront Mall has now taken. So we are here with Hesti Langefeld of the uh, Platz Amir Mall management. Yes. and uh, Sufrani uh, Holzhausen of uh, uh, Alzheimer Dementia uh, Namibia um, and this is the first dementia friendly parking bay in possibly Namibia I think I'm in Africa in, uh, possibly in Africa yes. so so but this is definitely the first one in 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 in, in Swakopmund Esti tell us why exactly did you did you do this now well, like Barry came to see us as well, and he said, you know, this is his vision for Swakopmund. He wants to make it, uh, he wants people to be aware of this because it's also a disability, but it's not a disability if he parks on my disability sign. People can say, well, there's nothing wrong with you, but they don't know the, the, the whole story. So, yeah, he approached us and he stated his case, and I think it was a rather good one. So we decided, well, it, it's good. We want to be. Um, come on board with this and I think um, for us we give ourselves out as a community center and this is community based so yeah um, that's where it ended up. <laughs> well, was there any specific uh, arrangements that you had to make with the traffic department or um, the municipality or so? Not for us okay. because this is our property so yeah we just had the sign made and then Barry asked us if we can have it. it it's an initiative by them. Which they yeah. Just, so, yeah, we are more than happy. And I think purple is the color for. Yes, yeah, green is color for dementia. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, and uh, if, I, if I may ask, you've got two two parking bays. Yes. Um, the the uh, the reason why you picked this specific area is is there a specific reason for that? So according to Barry, it was like when you exit the mall, it's a straight line. It's over the um, zebra sign, so they can just. I think it's like then they know, you know, where about it is if it needs to be this, described to somebody yeah. and it should be easier to find. Yeah, yeah. It should be like, and yeah. the cars, it's easier for them to get out and have their own private spot mm -hmm. than in between other cars. Where yes. it, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So, so Franny, tell me, um, you know, you, you're involved with the center, you, yes. you're very closely involved with people living with dementia. Yes. Your dad was diagnosed with, with dementia. What does this mean to you guys? Okay, um, look, we are so ecstatic about this, you know, because, you know, uh, we, we keep on fighting for uh, rights for people living with dementia, but people don't really bother until it happens to them in the inner circle. So this is not really for us about the parking, because, you know, people ask us, you know, how can people with dementia still drive? Can they still drive, you know? Um, and this is stigma and discrimination. People don't understand this, this illness. So for us it's about, it's a bigger picture, it's a start of awareness, first of all. And you know, when, when you're being diagnosed with dementia, you lose everything. Your finances, your people hide you because it's a shame and you're just going crazy. You can't drive, take away your keys. So we, uh, we want to promote um, uh, the awareness of, you know, people can still have a good quality of life, even though they have the diagnosis. And the mall is a perfect place because you have all different kinds of shops here, right? You have the pharmacy, you have the grocery, the restaurants, the banks, you know. So they can come stop here. It's usually very quiet here as well. Um, and then we eventually we want to um, uh, train the, 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 the staff of the shops, you know. When, when do I recognize someone that looks a bit confused? To help them out, you know, take them to a quieter spot, talk to the family maybe, when they go to the restaurant. 
we had one of our grandfathers here last week. We came to the restaurant and the, the waitress just gave him a, a menu and walked away. He was like, I don't know how to read. I don't know what to do. He got so stressed up, you know. But if you know beforehand, you can help him, talk to him slowly, ask him, you know, certain questions. What would you like? And this is what we have. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's all about a, a, a dementia friendly a mall, a society, community, town, country. You know, people must be aware, and also we want to promote um, early diagnosis of dementia. You know, so people can be helped. They can still, like my dad, he can still drive. Yeah. We drive with him very often to see if he, you know, the distance and, you know, but he drives wonderfully. He still works in all parts of Namibia. Um, so we want to support them to still do what they can do while they can do it, you know. Um, so how this would work is people would uh, register with us as ADN because we are the dementia uh, uh, you know, organization of Namibia. Um, we just need a formal um, a dementia diagnosis and then the, the vehicle registration number. So we will then provide them with a disc. Um, like, like you also said, you know, people don't, the first phase of the stages of dementia, you don't look as if there's something wrong with you. And, you know, and that is the awareness of, you know, I'm getting confused, I don't know where I am, I'm looking for my car, it's embarrassing, you know, so either someone will drive you around and they can stop you, or if you drive yourself, you know, we just provide that disc. So excited, <laughs> thank you so much for this collaboration. Yes. Oh, Great, <laughs> thanks. <laughs>
The ocean was somewhat on the stormy side over the past weekend, reports Grumpy. Even the sharks stayed away as a result of the rough water and the shark anglers had to take a back seat. Many anglers, however, targeted Langstrand, Patrysberg, Vierkant Club, where Galjoen catches were landed. Flotskas Baken, where the water was the perfect color, was also a winner, with good-sized Galjoen catches brought ashore over the weekend and even up to Monday. Mile 28, mile 32, Jakalspitz and Popeye also produced its fair share of fish. North of Cap Grace, the water was extremely rough, with a lot of sidewash and not much went on. The ski boats did not go out. Legendary skipper Zakit Nuffel of Heidi, however, turned 50 on Saturday, and congratulations and wishes of many good catches to follow are due. Conditions for fishing are to improve significantly after the full moon and the spring tide, with the ocean or the water becoming a bit calmer. We hope that the east wind will not hit us very hard, said Grumpy. Remember, recreational permits cost $14 per month or $168 per year. All you need is your identity card or passport to obtain a fishing license. Anglers under the age of 18 are required to produce birth certificates and passport photos in order for them to be issued with angling permits. These can be obtained at the Ministry of Fisheries offices. You can go and check out our website www.erongo.com.na for the exact locations. And that concludes our fishing report for today. And now for your weather. Sunset at the coast will be at 27 minutes past 6 on Thursday and sunrise will be at 30 minutes past 7 on Friday. Starfish Bay will have a maximum degree Celsius of 19 on Thursday and for Friday a minimum of 11 and a maximum of 19 degrees Celsius. A 15 knot south southwesterly wind will prevail. Sokob Moon will have a maximum degree Celsius of 18 on Thursday and for Friday a minimum of 11 and a maximum of 18 degrees Celsius. A 13 knot south wind will prevail. Hentis Bay will have a maximum degree Celsius of 18 on Thursday and for Friday a minimum of 11 and a maximum of 16 degrees Celsius. A 13 knot south wind will prevail. Arandas will have a maximum degree Celsius of 21 on Thursday and for Friday a minimum of 8 and a maximum of 20 degrees Celsius. A 11 knot west wind will prevail. Usakos will have a maximum degree Celsius of 28 on Thursday and for Friday a minimum of 7 and a maximum of 22 degrees Celsius. A 11 knot west southwesterly wind will prevail. Karabab will have a maximum degree Celsius of 27 on Thursday and for Friday a minimum of 6 and a maximum of 21 degrees Celsius. A 13 knot northwest wind will prevail. Omaruru will have a maximum degree Celsius of 28 on Thursday and for Friday a minimum of 5 and a maximum of 22 degrees Celsius. A 13 knot 
northwest wind will prevail. And that concludes your weather. Natuurlijk zal die concert al die oude treffers bevat, wat jullie allemaal ken, Skulpa Tepel en zo so meer, maar ons is my pa in die ijswastel te woon, Dracos daar, al die dinge. En daar is een paar nieuwe liekies, um, die een kan jullie nou uitsien, is een liekie vir Saai, so, sy naam is Saai, kyk uit vir. Adam Tas is coming to Vinduk to help build a brighter future for education. Join us at the Sounds of Caring concert at Vinduk High School Fech Cop on 20 and 21 May where he will be performing with Vaughn Irons and Rian Smith. Tickets cost 200 Namibian dollars and are available via eticket.my.na. All proceeds go towards the African Child Development Trust. Kijkers, ons zijn dan aan het einde van vandaag's programma gekomen, maar die pret hoeft echter niet hier te stoppen. Nee, sluit gerust dagelijks om 2 uur op DSTV kanaal 285 of GoTV kanaal 94 bij ons aan of geniet een verscheidenheid van programma op ons NMH online TV kanaal oneup2.com. Jelle kan ook toegang tot meer nieuws en andere stories krijgen op ons splinternieuwe webwerf www.erongo.com.na of volg ons op Facebook waar daar ook een paar competities met ongelooflijke prijzen beschikbaar is. Voor jouw advertentiedoeleindes of behoeftes, contact ons bij erongotalk.synergy.com.na of stuur voor ons een WhatsApp of Telegram na 08117-00040. Ik herhaal die nummer vele, dit is 08117-00040. Maar voor eerst en tot de volgende keer is dit dan cheerio.